Mr. Jerry Buckingham. Thanks very much, Yes. Uh, amazing to be here amongst you today. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the Bungjong Nation uh, and their ongoing life uh, in, in this place. Uh, I'm here as a representative of the Greens, and um, uh, it's just an honour and a privilege to be amongst such a well informed, vibrant, dynamic, and positive community. I think you should all give yourselves a round of applause for being you. To be here and being informed is an absolute privilege to be in a community where I don't have to convince you of anything. I don't have to convince you of the dangers of coal seam gas. You've done that. You've informed yourself. You've networked. You've communicated. You've shared knowledge. And that is an absolute inspiration to people all over Australia and the world. Because the Northern Rivers is that important. It's a microcosm of what's actually happening around the world. When they're faced with this oppressive, dangerous industry, when they're faced with a threat to the very existence of their community, now and into the future, this is what happens. The community reacts. The community comes together and says, we, we want to protect our water. We want to protect our land. We've got things here of value that the big corporations and the money-hungry governments after revenue don't see. We'll rise up, we'll make our voices loud and tell people we want to make, uh, we want to make sure that we're making decisions that will stand the test of time. That's the key difference between the Greens and other political parties. We will make decisions that in a hundred years' time we don't regret. We will make decisions that in 20 years' time we won't regret. And I make that commitment to you. Uh, I've just talked to Christine Mill. She wanted to me to convey a message of support. She said she'd be up here soon enough to meet with you people and get to know you and find out what's happening here. So at every level, locally, state, federal, our grassroots members, we are working for you, representing your concerns in the parliament. Um, I've, uh, I've been doing it, I've only been an MP for a year and I've been absolutely flat chat all over the state, talking to communities in Bogabri, Byron Bay, Bumdadjum, anywhere with a B, everywhere in between, and all of them are saying the same things. They're saying, we do not want coal seam gas. Uh, I believe the next stage of this campaign is to non-violent direct action. Uh, it's non-negotiable, it's non-violent, but as I say, that's the next stage because the decision makers have been given the opportunity to listen. Your Thomas Georges, your Barry O'Farrells, um, all of them have been given the opportunity to listen. I initiated a, a coal seam gas inquiry. It came up with some really strong recommendations, but it was clear that the government represent rep representatives on that inquiry, they just not, they're not listening, they're not interested. They've drunk the Kool-Aid. They think coal seam gas is the future of this economy, this society, and for our planet, because that's how big coal seam gas is. They are completely and utterly insane and disconnected with their community. And every day I go to Parliament and I remind, and increasingly, increasingly, they're coming to realise that this wasn't some Confection. This wasn't an artifice of the environment movement. This, as I said at the beginning, was what happens when you put communities under pressure. They react, they come together. We've got the police escorting a, a, a fantastic, peaceful, non-violent, direct action. We've got cane farmers. We've got dairy farmers. We've got the Nimbin Environment Centre. We've got people from AYCC. We've got everyone here saying the same thing. We don't want to put out risk, our community, our society, into the future. So I'll keep fighting for you. I'll keep reminding them uh, every single day. We'll be doing it at local, state and federal levels. When someone said, when someone said there's no alternative, well, there is. The major parties. Liberal and Labor, they're coming together. They think the only future for our economy is to turn us into one Billy. big export uh, quarry for the foreign sources to Asia. We've got to listen to you. We believe in local. We believe in sustainability. We believe in diversity. 
and make sure we, we cherish the things we've got. So, um, so as jobs rich, sustainable industries, agriculture, renewable energy, all the rest, their vision short term, dangerous, and polluting, and ultimately toxic to the environment and our I'm a right with that, there with that, every single day. I'm a complete pest to them. I'll keep doing it for you. Uh, good on you. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Jeremy Buckingham, folks. Today is this evening where we're speaking on behalf of the people.